love to hear kind of where you guys are at. What's the wins coming off the weekend, Mark? Oh yeah. So, uh, wrapped it up. Yeah. So the book is wrapped up. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Finish the writing. Um, it's at the editor right now. Yes. So, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, there's still some minor things like, you know, the copyright page and, you know, some little things that are just got to include it that as appendices and, and some links that I want to make sure that are in there. But right. as a whole, it's just a matter of uh, sweeping up the crumbs, so, so to speak. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. And just to let you know, my son has come through for me. I'm so pumped because he gave me some mock-ups this weekend, which of course is like, as you know, that is like fuel to the fire because it's just so energizing. So pretty excited. And I'd love to share those with you at some point. So uh, you just say when, and I'll do that. And we'll like get some ideas on what direction to go. Cause he's on standby to kind of make some final, sure. final uh, adjustments to that. So. Cool. So Mark, going into this process, did you think you would get as far as you got in one week? Absolutely not. Um, and it's, it, it has everything to do, I think, as I kind of review the process, boils down to two things. One is there was a consistent time for encouragement and motivation from people who know what they're doing and kind of, you know, come alongside of each person to motivate them and encourage them and, and give them what they need to go to the next step. And, and second to that is the fact that it's a focus time, like you're dedicating your energy to get this done and eliminating as many of those distractions that oftentimes uh, derail the process and really provide some structure to that. Those are two very key components of what this is all about. And then I have to give props to Jarvis, of course, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great and Jarvis is a, a big point there I'm curious how do you feel now after a full week of kind of immersion inside of this process like with Jarvis um before because I know you played with Jarvis before going into the into yeah. the challenge how do you feel about it now I was able to really get Jarvis to uh, kind of produce those introductory paragraphs if you will or introductions to the to the chapters that help, even if I didn't choose to use what he said, provide a, a, a little tip on how to move forward in that chapter, or I would take what they said, what he said, and then uh, really customize it to fulfill the experience I want to uh, take the reader on during that, during that chapter. So, um, you know, I, I would play with a little bit about uh, improving content and every now and then he'd nail it and every now and then he would like you know try to create a whole brand new story and I was like no 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 Jarvis back back here so I think there's some shiny things out there that Jarvis sees too and he gets distracted but uh but other than that I mean that's just that's true of I think any AI um, and perhaps per, perhaps that makes AI more human than not, which is really, really strange, but to think about. Mm -hmm. um, but but it's true. And 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 Darvis kind of, well, more than kind of actually provided a lot of the kind of skeleton to hang really the chapters and the content and the flow of the, the chapters on. And right. and that's kind of great. You know, it's it's like the Christmas tree with no ornaments, you know. Yeah, seven days is a very short period of time to imagine getting that done in, um, but it's an amazingly possible. Perfect. It's, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty excited. I, I'm definitely not in a place where I thought I would be seven days ago. I try to look forward and say, okay, because I'm, I'm a dreamer. I'm like, I like to cast vision ahead and, and kind of know my path and kind of know where I'm going to land and then kind of imagine myself there. So I get motivated to hit that goal. This is one that like had no vision whatsoever. Like I had no idea what to expect or how to kind of imagine what that would look like. So uh, I had to trust the process. And that's probably one of the most difficult things to do in this is trusting the process. Mm. 
I tell my students that all the time in the process of, you know, college applications, right? Just trust the process. And, you know, even that is, it's difficult to convey that message to a teenager. For myself as an adult who has always imagined and dreamt of writing a book and always thought maybe, okay, one day, but that one day never comes, right? Um, trusting that process is, that's hard. It's hard, but you just have to let go and go. I ended up with, uh, I think, 17,500 uh, 17, ish okay. in that neighbor, neighborhood ballpark. My goal, of course, is imaginatively was in the 20,000 range. Um, so it's running a little shy of what I kind of envisioned. But here's what I settled on mentally is that better that it be concise and clear than long and muddy. So I didn't spend time trying to kind of, you know, puff it full of marshmallows. It was like, I wanted to make sure that it, that it said what I wanted to say. And, and quite frankly, it doesn't need to say a whole lot. I mean, it doesn't need to be thick. It just needs to be true. And mm -hmm. that's what's important. And I don't yeah. want to tell them everything, right? Because if I tell them everything, they won't like hire me. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I need to give them like enough to like, feel like that was good, but... I want, I want to leave a little butt on there, right? right? Right. You know, it's different. If you give everything, the entire process, right? And every secret, every detail, it kind of depends. A lot of people are just going to read that and go, okay, he knows what he's talking about. I just want to hire him to do it, right? And you might get the one, one off person that's like, oh, I can do this all myself. They try it for a month and they're like, it's a full-time job. I just need to hire someone. That's most of the time what happens. Like when you hear other coaches or gurus, they're like, I'll give everything away, share it because most people aren't going to do the work anyway. So they're going to end up hiring you in the, in the past. But you know, this is, this is the great start version two, version three, you know, the concept. Yeah. yeah. So for me, a lot of the branding that has taken place both by way of the cover, the title and the metaphors that I use inside all developed while I was writing it. So none of that was like preconceived. Um, in fact, it's a very far cry from where I started. Mm -hmm. And my initial intent and motivation to write a book, title and content wise, <laughs> has turned out to be significantly different, which is okay. And I'm great with that because Part of the recognition that titles matter and what that title is about makes all the difference in the world to marketing helped kind of drive what was important to write about. Mm -hmm. And while I still included some of that content and pain point that I've referred to and wanted to write about as a whole, um, I, I included it in part and made it only a section of the book instead of everything about the book the anticipation's killing me mark you got to show us your cover now okay. Okay.